Banaldo Tibianje's frail appearance belies a determined spirit. At 101 years, he carries with him a remarkable tale of devotion and endurance. His physique portrays a life well lived since his first visit to Uganda Mata's Catholic Shrine Basilica Namgongo in 1969. During Pope Paul VI's historical visit to Uganda, Tibianje's admiration for the Mata's has been a driving force behind his annual pilgrimage. <laughs> I used to lead catechists. I was selected to attend Mass at Namugongo during Pope Paul's visit. Over the years, he traveled by car from his home in Bushenyi to Namugongo for the celebration in honor of 45 men who were killed for their faith between 1885 and 1887. However, he has also made the journey on foot 11 times. The only time he missed the pilgrimage was 2020 and 2021 during the COVID-19 pandemic. I have never missed. Every year, I come to Namugongo. This year, Tibianje has traveled both on foot and by car. While he still managed to walk through certain sections of the pilgrimage, he says his body cannot permit him to walk long distances. His family has also been part of this pilgrimage. My wife came here once, but she used a car. We have 14 children. Some of them last year walked. Tibianje's motivation to undertake this annual pilgrimage extends beyond personal devotion. He hopes that his sacrifice will inspire positive change within the community, especially among those struggling with alcohol addiction. Let's be good examples. Let's emulate the Uganda Matters. As Matters Day approaches, Tibianje spends most of his time in prayer and reflection, reciting novena to the matters. He encourages people not to fear joining the walking pilgrims, reminding them that with God's presence, weariness dissipates.